Oh, welcome, detectives. Come on in. That's it. Yes, come on board. Come on in to the private lounge of your Captain L. Charteau. Oh, sorry. The man has been murdered. And those crew members are Doug's body. There he is. We have Norwegian cartographer, Getcher Bering. Now, this is Getcher's very first expedition. And finally, we have Welsh zoologist, Penelope Gwynn. We have Getcher Bearings in his quarters that he shares with Doug Spoddy. Earlier this morning, I got a radio call from none other than Getcher Bearings. <laughs> Oh my goodness, have to help us. We are starving. The ice shot got several weeks ago, and ever since then, our captain, he is going cuckoo bananas. Please. And that man was none other than Admiral Albert Ross himself. Quite dead. How could Albert Ross have been murdered? Well, here are some of my theorems, detectives, of how he oh, might have been God. killed. Help! Help! I can't breathe! I, I can't breathe! Good luck, detectives. I believe in you. Uh, sorry, detectives. Uh, uh, caught me out of uniform there. Uh, my name's Doug, uh, Doug's body. Uh, please, anything I can do to help, I will. Just uh, ask away. Um, <coughs> did you kill him? Did I kill my best friend? No, absolutely not. I've been with that man for over 30 years. Oh, hello, detectives. Uh, my name's Pear. Gwen. Uh, uh, it's terrible what happened to Ross, isn't it? But uh, I have to say, well, I'm not that surprised, to be honest. Get you, don't do this. Get you, don't do that. Well, I'll show you, Albert. Oh, uh, hello, detectives. Uh, sorry, I was um, just coming out of the tunnel into the map room. Um, did you kill Get? Did you kill Albert Ross? No, I. I would never kill Albert Ross. So I'll waste no time in inviting the head detective from breakout room one to come and sit at my lovely captain's chair and tell us who you think done it and why. Like it says here, uh, I think Penn did it. Um, we think she was actually giving him a massage with the cod liver oil. She kept massaging this, this like poisonous seal liver oil into him. So he thought he was having a pleasurable massage and actually she was slowly poisoning him. Right. You think that I was in love with him, did you? All right. Well, I don't know where you got that from, detectives. But we think that Doug used his tea towel to wrap it around Albert's neck and strangled him until he was dead. And then, because uh, Doug is quite strong, he dragged Albert Ross all the way to the broadcast tower. Uh, detectives, that is the biggest load of hokum they have heard. We think that he and Penn are in love. They found out that they were in fact related and their brother and sister, uh, and that Albert Ross was their father. It's a bit hit and miss, your theory, but uh, I have to tell you, you're right. I did kill him. Nice little film that you made for yourselves there, but I'll tell you how I really did it. It was fun watching him lose his mind, his wife, his legacy as a hero. And I strangled him with my binocular strap. <laughs> <laughs> Getcha! Come to the radio tower, pronto! Into his map room, and I toss the keys of the tunnel door. Now shake my hand. Shake it. Shake my hand. That's it. Very good. Goodness me, you've got absolutely enormous hands.